Hey everyone, welcome back to RCV Academy. Today I'm going to start brand new tutorial series on Jira service management. So what exactly is Jira service management? So for example, if we talk about in very layman terms, right? Whenever you as a person, you as an employee join a company, right? You need some resources to be allocated to you. For example, your laptop, software, hardware, and other details that are required to perform your job in that particular organization. There might be some some other departments like HR okay there might be some legal department so every department has the requirement whenever somebody new joins or the existing employee employees they want to request something they they are looking for some service how is that going to be fulfilled so Jira service management is the platform provided by Atlassian that helps you to do all sort of service management and it, it is not just limited to that right so previously Jira service desk you might have heard about now Jira service desk is part of Jira service management so Jira service management is a lot more than just fulfilling the service request it is a lot more in terms of complete ITSM capability right so IT service management capability is being provided by Jira service management so this is brief about Jira service management and why you should be learning it right so why you should be learning it the first thing right so if you are already working in any of the project in any of the organization you should be as an end user be aware how you are going to use Jira service management now using it as an end user is absolutely simple so I'll be covering it in the latter part of this particular series now the first part of the series will be more for administering right so how you can sign up how you can basically customize what are different types of projects that you can set up in Jira service management and then go from there and then as an end user what all you need to know in order to raise the request say for example you are working in HR department or you're requesting something from HR you, re you are requesting something from IT what all steps you need to follow in order to use this particular tool so even though it looks pretty simple for an end user but there is a lot of complexity involved if you are learning the administer administration part of the Jira service management so I'll be covering all of that in this particular course so stay tuned and let's get started so the first thing how you are going to sign up basically how you are going to set up Jira service management right so Jira service management this course will be completely focusing on the cloud version of Jira service management so we are not going to install anything on our machines we are just going to sign up for the Jira service management so in order to sign up for Jira service management you can simply go to atlassian.com right so if I simply let's say we go to atlassian.com and straight away uh, if you go to products and then you will see high velocity ITSM Jira service management click on Jira service management and then you will be able to get it free right so if you click on get it free it will take you to the Jira service management cloud standard page what all you need to know before you go ahead right so you will see that you will you can get started with 10 agents for free for 12 months right so agents is basically you will be getting 10 agents so and that that is free for the 12 months okay now after one year okay you can convert to the paid plan or keep using Jira service management for free with up to three agents right so 10 agents won't be available after a year it will if you want to use it for free it will be reduced to three agents but over the period of time I mean you don't have to pay if you just have three agents in your team okay we'll talk about what exactly agents and everything are in just next uh, tutorials okay so let's get started let's continue with Google so what I'll do is you can sign up with Google or you can sign up with the email so I'll keep it simple let me sign up with Google and I'll use the Google account and then the the work email basically right and the site so this will be the site for so it will be RCB Academy live dot Atlassian dot net where I'll be able to access this service desk okay or service management so I'll click on agree and start now and then you will see I am redirected to you are signing up to a limited time offer on your standard plan 10 free agents for a year so I'll be getting 10 free agents no payment is required I'll be getting free full access to all the features right so I can change the plan anytime in manage subscriptions page which I'll also show so let's get started click on the get started button here and in order to learn right so in order to learn any of the Jira 
Classian tool, you simply head on to their website and they provide most of their tools for free, right? So if th there'll be some sort of trial that will be available for free. So that's the best way, basically heading to the cloud version, signing up using your email and you'll be absolutely fine in your learning journey for any of the Atlassian tool. Now, why we need to learn Atlassian tool? It's basically very widely used in any of the industry, right? So I believe if you're in IT, there is from past seven, eight years, I have seen uh, no projects that are not using any of the Jira or Atlassian tools, right? So it is very widely used and everyone should be, especially in IT and other uh, domains as well, other industries as well. It is very widely used. So you should be aware of what exactly these tools are and the softwares are. Okay. So all done, you are set to go. That's pretty much it. So we'll simply click on go to Jira service management. Okay. And then it will redirect you to the Jira service management page so you'll see it is basically you know on the Jira service management page right and then it will show you a brief introduction so first thing what you have to do is you have to first create a project right so like in Jira software when you sign up you first have to create a project so for example you want to you want to accept service requests for a particular team then that team needs to be created first so project against a particular team right so for example IT support or or the the desktop and network support right so any of those teams should be created as a project within service desk so when somebody some customer or some end user submits the request they are sent to this particular project or the project that you are setting up right so let's create a project and then as soon as you will see the create project you will see that classian within service management they provide a lot of out of the box templates right for marketing human resource finance design personal even for the personal space operations legals it right so you will see that these are some of the high level domains okay or areas in your business and then against each of these areas you will see for example if we simply go to service management you will see all of these templates in the right hand side are available if i simply want the marketing or say for example i want only it then these are the templates that are available for it service management so it service management is recommended which is basically uh handling service request resolve incidents approve changes and fix problems using itsm best practices okay and then you have general service management management for IT teams right so you can this is basically general service management for example requesting your laptop some software and hardware any networking issue so you can choose that right so you can choose any of this so let's go to general service management for IT teams first and then we go to the IT service management because IT service management is more of a standard process for IT service management right uh, and then if you go to say for example personal right you will see general service management for business team you have finance service management you have human resource service management so each area of your business has the template available so you can manage onboarding and offboarding answer question facilitate change request for your staff right if you use this so let's go to it and simply go to general service management for it teams okay and then you will see here this is the template basically you can go through and read the detail of this particular template okay but you will see overall in the right hand side the key information is that this is the workflow that will be available in this particular template so to do pending in progress and done simple work workflow so your task will flow in this in these states for completion so when they are new they will be in to do when they are done or completed they will be in the done state okay so we'll simply click on use template and then provide the name of the project right so i'll say simple it service management okay or i'll simply say rcv okay rcv academy it service management all right okay and then team type is it and then simply click on create project and you'll see key automatically gets created you can change it but i have kept it as same and that's pretty much it right so you will be then redirected to your dashboard or jira service desk or service management page wherein you have created your project okay the look and feel will be mostly similar to the jira software that you would have been using because service management is built on jira right so the core platform is jira so you'll see the look and feel will be almost similar and then from here on we'll start learning more details about the jira service management in the upcoming videos so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching